If you're a creative director in the ad industry, inventiveness is an essential part of the job description. Unfortunately, Suhana Gordon has oodles of energy and inspiration. She's earned the respect of her clients and her colleagues, and Karusha went to find out what fuels Suhana's creative energy. The view of Sansin was panoramic, but Suhana was focused on the world of sound as she briefed the voice artist before commencing the recording session. As a creative director, it's her responsibility to guide how the mood and the message of the advertising spot is to be presented, and she has to be attuned to even the most nuanced detail. The thrill of the growth. Joy every no, na, 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 na. The thrill of the growth. Cool, that's it. I think that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hope I'm not interrupting. Hi, Sunana, how are you? I'm good and so you? So lovely to see you. you too. Welcome to Mela. What am I walking in on? We're recording a voiceover for a TV commercial we're working on. Um, it's called a pilot where we just try out a voice uh, and try out the copy that we're working on. And once we're happy, we share it with clients. And if they're happy, then we record it properly. Wow, that's so cool. Are you guys still busy? We're done. It was a quick session. We got what we needed, and which means we can have some coffee. Great, let's go. Born in Durban, Sohana moved to Josie to study advertising and went on to make her mark as a copywriter. Sohana, this is such a cool, creative environment to work in. It's quite fun to come to an environment like this. And even if you take this room, it's one of my favorites in the building just because Madiba's here smiling at us. Um, yeah, it's got a great vibe. I, lo I love being in this space. So did you always want to be in advertising? No, I didn't always grow up thinking I'd, I'd go into advertising. I actually started my journey in, in the world of drama and dance. I studied uh, drama and English at university. And when I reached my honors level, I started thinking a little bit more about a career path and uh, my brother was going into advertising and I also thought it would be, make quite a nice creative life. So we both went into it. What has your journey been like from starting in the industry to now being a creative director. I'm a copywriter by trade, which means words are my thing and I love words. I started as a copywriter and I worked at an agency and my creative director there uh, promoted me to a creative director. So it's kind of, you go from being a copywriter, junior, middleweight, senior, group head, creative director. How exciting is it for you to see more women joining the advertising industry? It's a big passion point of mine. When I was growing up in the industry, it was a boys, I call it the boys locker room. It was, yeah, it was smelly and sweaty like a boys <laughs> locker room and a little bit crass and I certainly didn't have any female leadership to look up to. So when I see young women coming into the industry, I get really excited because I want them to be our future leaders and we, I want them to sit in the chairs at leadership level. And what advice would you give to somebody whose dream career it is to be in advertising or is considering advertising as a career? Your creativity is personal and it means you're selling your personal ideas every single day and they could get shot down so you have to develop a nice thick skin. But it's an incredibly rewarding career and I can tell you that some of my most exciting life experiences have come from my job. I walked in on you earlier and you were in a recording session. Is that part of your everyday norm? A lot of it is spent creating ideas and my job as a creative director is to review the team's work, help shape it and help sell it to clients and then once we sell it to clients we can start producing it. But right now I have a review, I don't know if you'd like to come and join. I'd love to. Okay great, let's go. Creating an ad is all about synergy, for the creative director providing guidance and leadership to the team. This entails offering encouragement and constructive criticism while also focusing on execution and quality control. So this is how all the award-winning work gets done. <laughs> yes, a lot of hard work and sweat goes into it long hours, um, but it's never a guarantee to win an award. So speaking of awards, you've recently been named the chairperson of the Laurie Awards. Congratulations. Thank you. What is your role? It's quite an incredible honor to have that title. It's, uh, the Lurie's is our African and Middle Eastern awards show, and it exists to celebrate creative excellence here and on the continent. And my role is to promote creative Activity and promote the awards show. So Hanna, you aren't all about work. You have another great passion in your life. Capoeira is one of my biggest passions and love, um, loves in life. It keeps me sane. It's like a physical meditation. In fact, I've got a session starting soon. So I think you should come and join me. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Capoeira is a martial art that was developed by Angolans who had been taken to Brazil as slaves during the period of Portuguese colonial rule. 
what the slave owners took to be traditional dancing was actually their slaves sharpening their fighting skills. Meet Caruso. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. So are you guys going to show me a little demo? As long as you join it. Cool, let's get started. Let's do this. Take your left leg, pop you to the back and bounce. To the back, forward, good, and bouncing. That's it. Yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. So this is the Jenga, it's the moving stance. Every martial art has a stance, this is ours. For capoeira. Okay, so I want it up, then across. Not across, then up. Okay, cool. So up, then across, good. Up, over, down. <laughs> oh, wow! Yes, nice one. <laughs> that was so great, I feel so invigorated. Well, that's what capoeira does. So Sahana, what makes you follow this passion of yours so intensely? We only have one life, and something my dad always taught me is that Nothing stays the same forever. So live in the moment, enjoy everything that you can because you don't know how long it's going to last. And on the other side of it, it also means, you know, just follow your heart and your passion and, and go for it. Music and dance play an important role as an aid to training. And this has also contributed to Capoeira's growing popularity for fitness training and self-defense. Thank you so much for letting me spend the day with you and get a little insight into your life. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me. Spending the day with Sahana has definitely taught me that to be a woman in a position of leadership, you have to follow your passion in order to thrive at what you do.